What's up guys? Today we are going to be putting together the 49cc Scooter X go-kart. Think you can handle it? Let's go. So as you see right here in the box, this is how this was delivered to the customer's residence, right to their front door off the FedEx truck. Unboxing is really not that difficult. Just cut the tape around the top. I cut the corners open and just pulled them up and the top came right off. And as you see, everything's pretty much packed nicely in here. You got two boxes. Each box has a set of tires and some small hardware stuff in there. Then you have a seat the flagpole, and the frame. bolts and hardware, all your wheels and tires, it does have a rear bumper, everything else looks assembled. I am going to check all the bolts out, make sure all the bolts are tight because you don't want to send someone going down the road with loose bolts. That's one of the things you do not want to do. So we're going to check that rear axle, everything out back there, make sure everything's good to go and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so the nut on the front is a 17 millimeter. And remember not to tighten these down too tight. You don't want to crush these bearings. You want to get them just barely snug. As soon as I feel it touch, I'm done. So we're going to do the other side. It's fairly simple. that one went just a little too much. There we go. Happy with that. <clears throat> now with the back, it's a live axle, so you got some keyways here. Quarter inch key stock, whatever you want to call it. And you'll see it's just going to fit in there. Just perfect. Maybe. It might fit in there. We're gonna get us a little baby hammer. All right, got that one on. Let's throw the wheel on. All right, you got your wheel on. Now we're gonna throw the washer on and the bolt. Get the other wheel and the bolts. sure y'all can see this here so one thing I noticed is the wiring coming down the frame hits the chain so if you buy one of these Bajas 49 cc razor go-karts make sure you go under here 
and you pull this wiring away from this chain. So what I'm gonna do is drill a hole in this plate, put me a hole right here, so I can pull the wiring down and out of the way like that. I'm gonna drill a hole right here so I can pull the wiring down and put it right there. And that should take care of my problem. It's real hard to see. But that wiring is hitting the chain and sprocket and that's a no bueno. It's not a good thing there, buddies. So, all right, let's go ahead and drill that little hole and zip tie these out of the way. I wonder if that's why they sent some extra zip ties with this thing, because they know they they messed up. They messed up bad. All right, so we're gonna make sure we're not gonna drill through the wiring. Nope. take one of these handy zip ties and we're gonna zip tie the wiring I went underneath pulled the wiring up and we're gonna zip tie it out of the way we got that done now we're near the chain all right not too bad all right so up until now everything was pretty explanatory the wheels went right on the back wheels went right on, you know, I had no problems with anything. They have this back seat angled, and right there is where the, the, back, the bolt hole is flat right here. Right there is where it's flat against the frame. But of course the seat's going to sit like this, so that kind of makes no sense on how they did the seat. I'm not the engineer, I didn't design this thing. Let's bolt it on and get it over with, shall we? Alright, you'll see there's a hole right here that looks same as your nut so I just drop the bolt the nut down in the hole stick the bolt up through and I just tilt it a little bit to make sure it's lined up properly Oop. there we go Alright, so the bolts go down and the nuts go on the bottom, on the front, on the back, the nuts go on the top, and the bolts come up from the bottom. So, yeah, nice to know. Now I need the uh, uh, little wrench that came, the wrench that never could. Uh, I got it. Alright, so I got the wrench that never could. This goes nothing.
It's like it's dumping too much gas in the carburetor. Just trying to take off. All right. So she seems to be running pretty good. I'm gonna see if there's a throttle adjust screw on this carburetor and adjust it down a little bit. Seems like it's a little bit too, oh that's probably it. The throttle wasn't allowing the carburetor to go back all the way. So the throttle wasn't all the way in the spot there. I don't really like that. I'm gonna put a little piece of electrical tape around that silver bolt and around this plastic piece to hold that throttle cable in spot because It'll probably pop out again, so let's do that. It's two stroke gas. You buy the little bottles and you pre mix it. Oh, okay. Uh, you pre mix them on the canister? Oh, you had to go get some? No, I had some. Oh, okay. I got a, I got a weed. You said you didn't have none. I thought I didn't. You got lucky. I thought so I was. So, how did you do? It seemed like it's a little. Like, you know, I'm letting off the gas yeah. and it wants to keep driving because it was revved up too high. So I pulled this cover off and looked. The throttle yeah. cable is supposed to go inside of a housing. Yeah. It was stuck on the outside, so I put it inside like it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. And then I put some tape around it to hold it in there. Oh, okay. And also, see this hole and the yeah. zip tie? Yeah. The wiring runs down the frame. Uh -huh. The chain is right here. So they had the wiring sitting on the sprocket in the chain. I said, that's going to tear it up. Yeah, it is. So I, Drilled this hole uh -huh. and pulled the wiring over here out of the way yeah. and zip tied it up okay. for you. So okay. I fixed that, so now that won't be torn okay. up. And uh, I fixed the throttle cable, so now she should just be able to turn her on, pull the cord. See, now it's not trying to walk itself, it's not trying to drive itself because I fixed that throttle cable. Oh, yeah, man, great. All right, guys, there you go. 49cc Baja out the door. Another job done. Customer picked it up. He's pretty happy with it. He says he's going to take it home right now and show it off driving it around. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Peace.